People of Earth, attention! This is the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated R and is recommended restricted for anyone under the age of 17. What the hell do you mean they're not dead? You mean they're just trapped in these canisters like this? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying, Miss Guillaume. And before you press me for further clarification, might I remind you that we're still under a time limit here. I have to use Helen to open an exit to the test area. If Phillips is all right and still with her, I should be able to pull him through. Use her? Just like that? Well, I have to say that's in line with your character, Malcolm. Miss Guillaume! This is going to require most of my concentration. It's a very difficult task. And I would appreciate it if you didn't distract me with unnecessary emotions. So why don't you make yourself useful and deal with whomever is coming through the lab behind us right now. What? (sighs) Turvey, I'm glad to see you. Does this door close? How did you find us? I asked one of Biscayne's crew before they cleared the building. She said she saw you coming down here. Does this door close? Wait, wait, why are Biscayne's men clearing out of the building? (sighs) Does this door close? Oh, oh, for crying out loud. It's the red button to the left of the door marked emergency seal. I got it, I got it. (sighs) Thank you. Now, question number two. Will this door hold? There's never a dull moment around any of you people, is there? Not really. The Account, A Tale of the Waking World, The Lightning for Hire, Part 17. shifted this room slightly out of phase with the rest of the facilities. I should keep them off our backs for the time being. At least give us room to work. How many of those things followed you down here? I didn't look back too much, but I counted at least four. The building's crawling with them. That's why Biscayne and his people cleared out. By the way, there's something in the chapel, inside the crucifix. And it's breaking free, too. That would be the angel, then. Oh, don't mention it! Not at all. It was my honor and privilege to save everyone here from being torn limb from limb. Thanks, Malcolm. Oh, hello, Turby. Yes, it was me all along. You should have known. Now it all makes sense, doesn't it? Hardly. But I can't say I'm surprised to see you here. Well, I was surprised. How did you figure it out? Back in the Midlands at the rest stop where we first met this Joker. When we were caught in that dream snare, those devices came after us. Those kind of horse centipede crab things. I took one of those head-on. Very distinct battle aura. Not one you're likely to forget. These meat hulks we've been facing here. Virtually identical. These are the people who've been chasing you, aren't they, Malcolm? Meat hulks. I like that. That's very descriptive. I'm keeping that. Malcolm? The answer is yes, of course. Who else would it be? And you just had to drag us into it again, didn't you? Drag you into it? I've been flying solo for weeks on what I thought was a doomed mission when all of a sudden you three plopped into my lap. I'm very sorry, but I wasn't about to look that gift horse in the mouth. Well, he has us there. Wasn't like we knew any of this when we started, and he didn't exactly lure us here. No, I didn't. Looks like this was fate, after all. Well, fuck you, fate. And now that we're all together, how about a quick explanation? He'll tell you later. First, he has to rescue Hanover and Cole. Thank you. And after that, you can threaten me all you want, Turvey. Though I'll warn you, if you want to punch me, Miss Guillaume already beat you to it. Wow, pretty girls get all the luck. That's what we're here for. (sighs) All right. Let's try this. Don't let me down, Helen. That, Helen? I'll explain later. Please! I need to concentrate on this. And no matter what happens, do not open that door behind you. We're not stupid, Malcolm. We're not about to let the orderlies in. We're not connected to the hospital on Earth anymore, Miss Guillaume. The orderlies aren't behind that door. 
So what is them? Nothing. A vast quantity of it. Kiste. Kelasantrikeno. Helano. Sudum Korakai. Lakturia. Quenchinens na. Nakaitise. Sent Korata. Lanchens na no. Kronse chetishi. Lahangunda. Glakesh nakaya. Ixkdoda. Kurushda. Shinchai kasitis. Shina. Kislan kisnets na. Ask if you're all right. That 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 would be stupid. But I'm I'm glad you're still with us. I'm glad you're finally being honest with me. Ah, you did see through my disguise then. Pretty much. Clever. I had no doubt in my mind that you would be supremely clever. Doctor Aziz would have been very proud of you. Did he say goodbye? Yes. That's all he had time for. I, I know he wanted to say... I wanted to say more. There isn't time. Can you get Hanover and Cole out? Yes. I'm opening a door now. Just follow my voice. That's where you are, isn't it? You're with me. Yes. I'm with all of you. I'll be right there. Come on! Come on, you can't die! Breathe! Breathe! Turn! What? Turn left here! Turn left here, hurry! We might as well, we're running out of places to go! All right! Through that door! Hurry! Now! Close it! I should be able to hold it off in here for a little longer. Good. Oh, give us time to think. You better think of something. This is a dead end. There's no other way out. Okay, we make our stand here. Fair enough. I've got a few of these explosive stones left. I can at least give it something to remember me by. You and me both, Cole. Helen, get behind us. And don't give up till the end. Oh, please, if it's going to be that kind of melodrama, count me out. <sighs> Who asked you? Since we appear to be the smart ones here, my dear, do you wish to tell them what's about to happen, or shall I? What do you mean, what's about to happen? <laughs> <sighs> Malcolm! Phillips! Get through here now! I can't hold this for long! You heard him! You have to go through now! Hurry! Well put, my dear. And may I say it's been a pleasure working with you. Hanover, come on! Cole! Go! I'll be right behind you. Ready when you are. I am ready. And you have to let me go. No. No, that's not how this works. I save you. I carry you through there and then we're all safe. Hanover, I have no place out there. This is where it all ends. No, 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 Hanover, no. Hanover, I'm sorry I put you through all of this, but you have to put me down and let me go. No! I'm a knight! I said I would protect you! I have the power to save you! I know you do. And I know you will. But until then, I have to protect you. What are you doing? Helen, ah, Helen, Helen, let go of the probe! Helen, ah! 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 Cole, take him and go! I got him. I got him. Listen. Don't. I really wish everyone would stop apologizing to me. It's getting old. Goodbye. And thank you. Thank Hurry! You. Thank you for saving them. You were the one I wanted to save. I tried. I really did. I tried to prevent this from happening to you. I know. 
And thank you, all of you. It's time to go. Nero, Turby, help me here. I got him. I got him. What the hell is that thing on the back of his head? It's a control device. One of Kasperzak's toys. It's designed to record data on one of her victims. When people start worshipping Helen as a goddess, she inserts that. Eventually it overwhelms their mind and transforms them into an orderly, and then Kasperzak takes command. Well, let's get it off him, then! No, Nero, wait. Hanover said if you tried removing it, it would kill him. He's right. It's hooked up to all his brain pathways. If you just yank it out, it's instant death. Well, we can't just leave him like that. I didn't say we were going to. It's tricky to remove, but I've developed a technique. Move over, please. Try to hold his head as still as possible. It's got to come out in one clean move. She's gone, isn't she? The part of her that you knew, yes. It's merged with the angel now. But deep down, both of us knew we could never prevent this from happening, didn't we? That's what drove us so hard to try and rescue her. You were never in any real danger of worshipping her the way the others did. The ones who gave their bodies and souls, turned into orderlies, lopped off their hands and scrawled the number 144 all over buildings in several dimensions. No. Yours was rooted in the hubris that your powers and your skills and your knowledge and your will would be enough to carry the day. To rescue an innocent, tortured little girl. To fend off the impossible. Well, I guess we have that in common then, don't we, Malcolm? That we do, Phillips. That we do. All right, hold still. I'm ready now. By the way, uh, Phillips, when I say I have a technique for removing this, what I actually have is an untested theory about it. <sighs> Just get on with it, will ya? Righto. And don't bother telling me how much it's gonna hurt. It hurt going in. I'm prepared for that. Actually, what you should feel is quite a bit of relief. Ah! There we are. That can't possibly have been comfortable in there. Will you move, Cole? Get me a bandage before he bleeds to... Where's the wound? There is no wound. It's a non-terrain phase metal. It's the only way you could put something this big inside someone's brain without killing them. Ugh. No, the pain you feel is when it hooks itself up inside your head, and then it gives you an endorphin reward for every time you worship, thus hastening the process. But pulling it out and severing those connections instantly would be bad. <laughs> Try not to stand up. You said the girl merged with the angel. That thing in the chapel back at the hospital. That's correct. Well, don't we need to head back there and do something about this? An angel is about to get loose on the earth. I'm in the process of doing that, Turvey. Not to worry. Besides, time passes differently here in the void. We do have some leeway. And I know Helen well enough to know that she's going to fight. It's going to take some time before the angel fully integrates with her. You better be right about that. Well, whether I'm right about that or not is completely irrelevant because we need the time anyway. Sir Phillips has to recover his full strength if we're going to have any hope of putting an end to this. You mean kill Helen? I mean releasing her from this existence she's been left with. Yes. I've used up all my strength getting us as far as we have. I've got nothing left to give. And I'm sorry, Sir Phillips. But I'm afraid the task falls on you now. Well, if that's the case, then I expect payment in advance for what I'm about to do. You said we have some time, Malcolm. I want answers. Yes. I suppose you have all earned that courtesy, haven't you? I'll warn you up front. It's a long and complex tale, but I suppose you should hear it. Why don't you settle in for the time being, recover your strength, and let me tell you my story. You have been listening to The Account, A Tale of the Waking World, The Lightning for Hire, Part 17, written and performed by Kyan Chris Conroy as part of the Technical Difficulties podcast series. 
To contact me, that's techdiff at gmail.com. Twitter.com slash techdiff is the Twitter feed. And look for technical difficulties over on Facebook. To be continued next time on The Account, The Tale of the Waking World, The Lightning for Hire. Good heavens, that's two episodes in a row. Hello, Kyan here. And, um, well, that's what happens when you finish a big project like an audiobook and suddenly find yourself with extra time that you would spend normally in a hot, sweaty booth recording an audiobook and spend it in a hot, sweaty booth recording your audio drama. You know, the one you don't get paid for. Uh, any news from me? Let me think. Oh, here's a big one for you all. Um, I, well, I don't have a proper, complete diagnosis yet, but... People have been uh, have known uh, who know me or follow my Twitter feed or over on Facebook uh, know that I've been having a pain issue lately. I had a problem with my hand, my right hand, and a problem with my right foot with uh, swelling, um, kind of carpal tunnel esque thing sort of going on in my hand and a swelling in the middle of my foot and a large toe swelling up and. Last October, a finger swelling up rather badly, and I still have a thumb joint that's kind of swollen. And it looks, um, after visiting a doctor, I haven't got a proper diagnosis, as I said, but it looks like I have psoriatic arth- arthritis. Uh, psoriatic arthritis is a, um, a small percentage of people who get psoriasis, which I have. Uh, that's the reference to bad skin I always make. Um, develop psoriatic arthritis, which is kind of a lifelong condition. Um, this will get progressively worse, so I have to take care of it. Uh, it means I have to. I have an enormous amount of inflammation in my body, which can lead to all kinds of things, such as heart disease and uh, uh, diabetes, and uh, in this case, arthritis. So I get joints that will swell up, on, pr- typically on the right side of my body, which kind of sucks with my hand because it is my drawing hand. And I'm right-handed, and um, well, that's basically it. It's uh, it's a genetics thing. My dad had psoriasis, and now and then I got it. I'm the only one in my family that I'm aware of who got it, and nobody in my family <laughs> that I'm aware of. Had it develop into arthritis, and guess what? Who guess who won the arthritis lottery? It's me. So I got to take care of this. Uh, that's not going to interfere at all with the uh, with the schedule of the account, unless I find myself in suddenly cr- in crippling pain or something, uh, because it doesn't appear to affect anything but joints. And my larynx isn't a joint, so there. On the other hand, that does mean no more diet soda, no more smoking, uh, no more very little drinking. Um, I have to really, really watch. No more processed food. Pretty much anything kind of fake or chemically or any of that crap that can get into your system and cause inflammation, I have to stop. So uh, I've been looking for an excuse to genuinely quit smoking, and I guess this is it. That doesn't mean I'm going to totally quit smoking because I still enjoy the cigarette once in a while, but it's going to be a rare, rare, rare thing. So bear with me also for anybody who knows me in person uh, as I try to quit smoking again. Um, but there you go. That's that's my story right now. So I've been not diagnosed yet, but we're 95% sure that this is what I've got. And um, that's all right. I'll deal with it. Anyway, I'll be back again next week with a brand new episode of The Account, also using a brand new microphone that I bought with my moderate paycheck for doing the audiobook, which is done now, by the way. As I said, it is done. I just send it, sent in one little final thing to polish it off, and now it is finished. And my schedule is clear. I can now finish The Account, which is winding up. It's winding up. I'm guessing, now don't quote me on this, but I'm thinking two more episodes of the account before it's done. After that, I've got a bunch of projects I want to do, but I may take a little time off, which is unfair to you guys, I know, because I've taken so much time off doing the audiobook. It's just that I was working. I wasn't getting to relax or avoid doing anything. Um, but we'll see. I may just go straight back into some comedy. I may pick a brand new project to work on. There's a lot of requests to actually start hearing The Waking World. And I gotta say, I, I mentioned this before, but I'll mention it again. I built up a lot of stamina from doing the audiobook. I'm just used to being in the booth and used to working on things. On the other hand, there were a lot of projects around my house that need to get caught up with that I haven't caught up with, so I have to do all that. In any event, look for a brand new episode of The Account next week, um, where Malcolm will reveal all. And I hope you're going to enjoy that, because that, this story is, um... <laughs> Well, this is a couple of years in the making um, in terms of this this arc that I knew Malcolm was all about. And this is my excuse to finally tell that story. And um, and then after that, I'll move on to something else. Uh, so like I said, there should be at least two more episodes of The Account. Possibly three, though I doubt that very much. Um, 
But who knows? I thought this was going to be a short arc for the account this time, and it turns out it's been going on for 17 episodes as of this week. I've spent the better part of the year doing this one story, and, um, you know, in the future, I always say, in the future, I'm going to make sure I do these stories a lot shorter. I really think I am. I'm, I may do another account very quickly after this, but it's going to be like an interlude story that only asks, lasts an episode or two. Um, just to sort of keep things going and, and keep things moving, but... I don't know, I really enjoy getting my hooks into these giant arcs, and once the ideas start to flow, I can't stop them, and then it just feels bad to kind of like take these ideas that the story generates that are specific to the story, and then go, ah, I'm not going to use them because the story's too long. I guess I'm just going to have to figure out a way to ramp up my output, and uh, that way I won't bore you people who are not into the account and would rather hear the comedy, and um, like that. Now I'm done talking. All right. Uh, As per usual, I'm always looking for cash to buy new things to continue this this whole endeavor here. Um, So if you would like to donate to Technical Difficulties and the account, um, you can send me a PayPal donation at techdiff at gmail.com. And um, subscribe to the Twitter feed and to the, uh, if you want, there's, I'll, I'll explain this one more time. There is a Technical Difficulties group over on Facebook. You have to ask to be added to it, but then I will add you to it, or one of the other two people who are moderators on it will add you to it. And there's also Technical Difficulties, which is my Facebook page. And if you want to join that, please drop me a note along with it that says, Hi, I would like to join your Technical Difficulties page because I'm a fan of your show, because I get a lot of people who are just clearly, as I said, not human beings, but some sort of weird marketing robot. I don't know what that's all about. Anyway, I'm done. I will talk to you guys next week. And thanks so much so much for listening. And uh, bye. Ow. I hit my finger on my mic stand.